Hello, this is Elizabeth with the Westerville Library. As a follow-up to our video about genealogy for free at the library, we thought we'd give a little tour so that you know how to find these resources. The easiest place to start is at the westervillelibrary.org website. From here, you can use the search box up at the top to search for the database that you'd like, or what I've done here is go to Books, Movies, and More, down to Research and Databases. You'll then see a list of all of the databases that you can access. You can do a full list. You can search by category. And we're going to do that now by going down to genealogy. You'll see that the first database here is Ancestry. We have Heritage Quest, Fold 3, African American Heritage, Columbus Dispatch, our local history collection, and I can scroll over here and access the insurance maps and familysearch.org. I can click again up at the top in this search box, or I can access down through here. So let's start off by looking at Ancestry. There is a video on our website and YouTube channel that talks about accessing the census records. And today we'll do an overview to the general features. Ancestry is generally available only in the library, but is accessible at home through May 2020. I'm going to click on this Go to Website link here. I'm going to enter my card number. I'm going to select Westerville Library from the drop-down, and I'll be taken via the Ohio Web Library to the Ancestry Library Edition. Now you can see over here in the upper left-hand corner, this tells us we are in the Library Edition. And over here in the right hand that we are accessing via the public library. For those of you who've accessed Ancestry from home, you'll notice that looks a little different as well as just this option bar along the top. Now here you'll see quick links to member trees, birth, marriage, and death records, and census records. And I like to suggest that you review this top for the Learning Center, which has some helpful information as a starting point, some charts and forms if you need documentation to start documenting your history, and a list of new collections. If you start over here with the search, you'll see you can search all categories, census, marriage, birth, death, and so on. You click here and you can put in your ancestor's name, fill in some information, and get started. And again, please feel free to tune in to our YouTube channel or our website for an overview more specifically related to Ancestry. The next database I'd like to look at is Heritage Quest. And again, we're going to follow the same pattern. We're going to go to the website. This is accessible from home as well. And here we can see an overview of the available records, the US, Canada, down through other collections here at the bottom. Again, I can begin searching. I can pick what I'd like to search. I can look at research aids and maps. And I suggest you start off where you think uh, you might want to begin with as much information as you have to hand. I'll scroll down a little bit here so you can see more in detail. It's quite a robust set of records. The Fold 3 military history you can meet the men and women of the past, you can look for your relatives, commemorate them on an honor wall, and so much more. An example of all the records are over here to the side. Here's an example of a memorial. And again, at the top, you can put in an ancestor's name. You can search. If you know the specific time of service, you may select that as well. So if I know my relative was in World War II, could give that a start and again start accessing records. It is important to pay attention to things such as dates, state, and so on. As you'll see, there are going to be many returns, especially if a name is more popular. But I can filter down on state if I know where my relative is from and start to look at the actual records to save those off. You can search here at the top by regiment and so on and more. Lots of useful information. The next database is the African American Heritage Collection. And again, I'm going to access this the same way. Here I'm going to have a different set of collections, but I'm still going to have the census information, marriage records, military draft, and so on. I can browse over here by last name, do a quick search, look at different publications, and look at the community here. There's some recent posts, there's help on different surnames, and a beginner's guide, which I highly recommend. 
If I want to do a search, I can start off with a last name. I can look for the state where I think the individual is located. Now there I had no results, so maybe I want to open up the states and try all. And there we go, I have some census information, draft information, marriage records are gonna be blank in this case, and I can click on an individual and start to look at the reports. Again, a very helpful site, very robust. Next, I'm gonna look at the Columbus Dispatch. Here, I can look from 1871 up to yesterday, and I can find out about Columbus issues, articles, events, and so on. click on here to open it up and it's worth noting that if you ever do need help with a search or you just can't quite find what you are looking for that's what your librarians are here for you can give us a call an email or use our new chat feature to contact us but I can view here issues by date I can change the year I can go through recent issues or I can use the general search terms the advanced search and more and look for articles. This is handy if you have a relative you know was mentioned in the newspaper or if you're looking for an obituary or similar. Next I'd like to talk about our wonderful Westerville History Center and Museum which is located on site at the library. They do tours, they have some exhibitions for us, they have a wonderful collection of archives and local interest and links here to various collections. They're also available for question answering and help. You can stop in and see them, give them a call, or use the email address here. Related to this would be the Sanborn Insurance Maps, which have historical maps and street plans in Ohio from 1882 to 1962. If I click here and go to the website, I can search for a city, and you can see I can pull up date ranges, I can look at a time period, and I can find streets and areas I would be interested in. For example, if I want to go down here, I can look at 1922, and we'll take a look around Otterbein University. We can zoom in, we can see boundaries, we can see the names of places, streets, and they will have the stamp up here. We can download these, print them, and save them. Lots of good fun. FamilySearch.org is another wonderful resource. I'm going to access this in the same way. I do have to create a free account with my username and password, but once I do, I can access search features, I can look at memories, I can look at family trees, and I can do a quick search right here at the bottom and start off with my family member. We hope that you've enjoyed this brief tour of our Westerville Library Genealogy Online Resources, and again, please contact us and let us know how we might aid in your research. Thank you so much.